In this video, we will look at a few examples that will let us practice working with isosceles triangles. So remember an isosceles triangle is a triangle that has two congruent sides. So in example A, it says which two angles are congruent. So this is an isosceles triangle because it has two sides that are congruent. And one of the properties of an isosceles triangle is that its base angles will always be congruent. And the base angles are the angles that are across from the congruent sides. So in this case, it would be angle U and angle S have to be congruent. So our answer is angle S is congruent to angle U. Okay, let's go to example B. This one says, if an isosceles triangle has base angles with measures of 47 degrees, what is the measure of the vertex angle? So the base angles are the angles that are across from the congruent sides. So if those are each 47 degrees, we can figure out the vertex angle, which is up here, by remembering that the three angles in any triangle have to add up to 180 degrees. So the vertex angle is going to be 180 minus 2 times 47, because that's the rest of the triangle, how many degrees there are in the rest of the triangle. And you get 86 degrees. So the vertex angle of this triangle must be 86 degrees. All right, let's go on to example C. If an isosceles triangle has a vertex angle with a measure of 116 degrees, what is the measure of each base angle? So let's draw this situation. Isosceles triangle, the vertex angle is the one that's in between the two congruent sides. So if those two sides are congruent, this is the vertex angle and it's 116 degrees. So the base angles are the other angles in the triangle and they will always be congruent. So what we can do first is figure out what the sum of the base angles should be by doing 180 minus 116, because that will give us the rest of the triangle, since the whole triangle has to add up to 180. So 180 minus 116 is 64. So that means the two base angles together add up to 64 degrees. Because they are congruent, we can just do 64 divided by 2 and get 32 degrees, and that means that each of the base angles have to be 32 degrees, and that satisfies the fact that they have to be congruent and that the three angles in the triangle have to add up to 180 degrees. So our answer is the measure of each base angle is 32 degrees.